Hey guys, Aspen Air Drone in Nature are out with my GoPro Hero 10. I'm gonna test different settings today. Uh, just wanna shoot in different profiles, resolutions and uh, colors. I'm shooting now in natural mode, 4K30, super wide. Um, I set the EV comp to minus 0.5 and uh, yeah, I'm shooting in 4K30. Uh, just want to see uh, and the sharpness is at the low because I think some of the GoPro footage is too sharp It looks a little bit strange So this is wide uh, Hyper smooth is set to boost uh, Hopefully the footage looks good and the audio sounds good. It's extremely windy today So this is a good test for the camera But This is an action camera so it should work in settings like this 4K 30, super wide, color profile natural, sharpness low. Let's change to a different setting. Okay, I changed uh, the color profile to vibrant. This is, and the view is set to wide, not super wide. Uh, how does the footage looks? Uh, white balance is set to auto. Um, and it's pretty tough lightning today. 4K 30, wide, um, hyper smooth boost, and the color profile is set to vibrant. Does it look good? Does my face look strange? Uh, I have low sharpness because I think the sharpness is too sharp, even in uh, medium mode. Uh, medium mode, it's easier to. Uh, change the sharpness in the post. That's my opinion. 4K 30, hyper smooth boost, boost and uh, wide mode. Does it look good? Let's change. Okay guys, I change uh, uh, the view to linear mode plus horizon leveling. That's excellent when you're doing action sports and stuff like, stuff like that. So the image doesn't tilt too much. You can tilt the camera to 45 degrees. That's really amazing. I'm shooting in natural color profile, 4K 30. Linear mode plus horizon leveling. So you can actually tilt the camera a little bit. 45 degrees. And there you can see it's tilting a little bit. And back again. So that's really excellent really good for sports and action it's extremely bad weather it's changing all the time it's really windy 4k 30 linear mode with horizon leveling color profile natural that changed to another profile or resolution let's try 5k okay guys we're back again shooting now in wide 5.3k in 30 frames shooting in natural color profile hyper smooth boost is on uh, it's extremely windy so this is a good test for the camera i know that the hyper smooth stabilization is excellent this is the kind of settings you will use a camera like this so it has to work in tough and tough environment so uh, i set the audio ball uh, the white balance to auto uh, and the weather is really bad hopefully it doesn't rain but that doesn't matter for a camera like this it's six o'clock in norway so it's shifting lightning all the time but hopefully it looks good sharpness is set to low i don't like it's the images are too sharp i think when you put it on medium so how does this look 5.3k 30 frames does it look good hope so this is an excellent little camera that's for sure the only bad thing is the battery life that's not that good Let's change to another setting. Okay guys, let's do some running 4K 120 and slow it down. Let's see how it looks.
Okay guys, we're on 2.7k, 240 frames. Let's see how the footage looks like when we are running a little bit. This is Let's see. Okay guys, we're back again, 5.3k, 30 frames, wide, um, EV comp is set to uh, minus 0 0.5, hyper smooth boost on, so it should be pretty balanced, the stabilization works perfect on this camera, it's extremely windy as you can hear, I hope the audio sounds good. Uh, the lightning is changing all the time. I set the white balance to auto and uh, the ISO is set to 100 minimum to 800. Uh, sharpness is set to low because I want to adjust the sharpness in post. I think the image looks too sharp even in medium settings. But how does this look? Let's turn the camera around so you can see. How does the sky look? Does it look good? Does it compensate? Good for the lightning conditions? This is natural color profile. Looks uh, pretty decent on the screen. Hopefully it looks good when I'm editing the footage. Hyper smooth 4.0 boost 5.3k 30 frames in wide. Let's change to another settings. Okay, guys, we're back again. I changed the view to linear plus horizon leveling. Just want to see how that looks. Uh, hopefully, it looks good. Um, sharpness it's still on low because I want to change the sharpness in post. White balance is set to auto EV comp minus 0 0.5 um, bitrate is high 
but how does this look? What I really like is you can tilt your camera so when you're walking and a little bit uneven with your arms, the horizon is still gonna be flat, so that's great. You have to turn to 45 degrees before it's um, shifting, so that's excellent. Hyper smooth boost is on. It's extremely windy, so this is a kind of a tough environment for this camera. The only negative thing, as I said, with this camera is the battery life. Especially when you're shooting in high resolution and high frame rates. But let's turn the camera so you can see how it adjusts to the lightning condition. But the uh, stabilization is really amazing. So now I'm turning the camera a little bit and still the horizon is still in level, pointing up to the sky. The sky looks awesome on the screen. Hope the camera compensates good for the lightning conditions. Shifting from blue sky to good light to bad light. Let's point down on the ground. Point up again. This is what's difficult for cameras like this. Small sensors. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm really happy so far with this camera. Let's change the view to super view so we can see how that looks like. Okay, guys, we're still in 4K 30. Color profile is natural. Uh, sharpness is low, uh, bitrate is high, but we changed the uh, view to super view. This is excellent when you're out in nature, so you want to see everything around you. Uh, also great for vlogging. You can show people much more what's happening uh, in the back and in front of you. So, um, yeah, so far so good. I hope the image looks good. That's the most important thing. But the camera is excellent. This is what, what you want to use it for, uh, hiking, trail running, cycling. Let's turn the camera around so you can see how it looks. Now we have some sun. Straight to the camera, let's see how it's changing and compensating for this. Looks pretty good on the screen. I hope the audio is okay. But this is super view, really wide. That's nice. And it's windy. Let's walk this way. Let's point the camera up, up there. You can see. Out to the sea. So far, so good. So this is super view, natural color profile. I think this is the color profile I'm going to use most. Uh, but um, it's going to be nice to see how the sharpness is. And uh, I'm editing in DaVinci Resolve, so it's pretty easy to adjust the sharpness. What you using in camera in uh, lightning conditions like this can be a little bit difficult, especially with a small sensor and a small body and camera like this. But you have to depend on the camera, and it must be possible to use the camera in situations like this. If not, there's not the point with a camera like this. You need to use the camera all the time. We all know that in uh, in uh, in bad lighting, this camera isn't great. I know that, but uh, this is this is probably going to be the mode that I'm going to shoot most in: 4K 30, super view and wide, and maybe linear with horizon. But this is how it looks like. It's pretty dark on the screen, so I hope it's. Okay, white balance is set to auto. I saw some pretty previous footage with my, with this camera, 
my skin looks really strange and I think that's because of the sharpness it's too sharp it looks a little bit like digital strange face <laughs> so uh, ah, it's fun to shoot with this camera it's so small I'm gonna do a comparison with this and the Sony FDR that's a camera that I really love I'm using that a lot but you can't use that camera in conditions like this because uh, it can't handle rain and yeah bad weather this camera you can use doesn't mind doesn't matter at all this can handle uh, bad weather so uh, yeah fantastic and this is what super view looks like walking my trail I'm running here each every day it's so fun to run here the weather has been a little bit bad lately, but it doesn't matter. The only thing you have to do is to change your clothes when it's raining and it's windy. As well. I hope the audio is okay on this camera. I know it's not the best, but hopefully it's good enough. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this test between different resolutions and frame rates. Please subscribe to my channel, that would mean so much to me and uh, trust me, I'm gonna make a bunch of content coming forward. Can't wait to start to visiting some nice places to shoot. So if you wanna see that, please subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye bye.